So you might be trying to figure out how you can go ahead and add a custom photo as a widget on your iPhone. Now, doing this is very basic. These tutorials were so popular a few years ago, and some people still want to know how to do it. Now, there's a lot more applications nowadays to basically allow you to do this than before. So what you can do is you can make your way over to your App Store. So you can open up the App Store, click at the search bar down here, and you want to type in a photo widget. So type in photo, and you should be able to find something that says like photo widget or something along those lines, and then you'll see this panel come up. So all you're going to want to do is you want to find some sort of photo widget application. In this case, you know, Widgetsmith was very good. You can also use Photo Widget Simple if you want to. I'll probably just use this one because it's pretty easy to use. So you can go and install this one. So install whichever one you want to. It's a pretty basic install. It takes a couple seconds for it to you know, fully install. So we'll just give it a little bit of time and that'll basically be it. So it turns out we're going to use Widgetsmith and this application just didn't want to install. So we're just going to use Widgetsmith for the time being. So when you go and download an application like this one, so you can use Widgetsmith for this example, you want to go and configure a photo widget. So what we can do is we can go and figure out which widget size we want. In this case, we'll just use a medium widget, but you can use whichever one you want to. So we'll just tap on add a medium widget. And what we can do is we can basically tap onto this image or we can choose the photo that we want by clicking here. And we want to go and click the settings application or the settings option, which is up here. So it tells us, you know, if there's an image URL we want or time widgets or whatever we, you know, case we want, we'll just go and keep this one for the time being. And we can go and click on photo. So now we can choose the photo that we want to. So we can choose from our photos application and we can choose whichever photo that we want. So in this case, let's say I wanted to choose this one, right? I really like this photo. I can go and choose this and go and click like save. So now what we can do is we can make our way back into our home page here. We can hold down on an empty page here and we want to click on the plus button on the top left corner. So click on the plus button and you should see that the widget smith you know, application should show up somewhere. If not, you can scroll down until you see widget smith, which is right here. Tap on here and you can choose which widget you want. So in this case, we'll just use this one. Now it'll tell us to add to your home screen, you know, tap, long press, whatever. So we already did that. So what you want to do here is you want to hold down on this widget here and you want to click edit widget. Now when you do that, you can choose which widget that you want. So we'll choose here and we can choose whichever photo that we went to that we chose before and watch what happens. Now this photo should go ahead and update. And now this photo will go and be updated to the one that we actually chose before. So that's basically how it's done. It's a super basic process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.